Hey y'all, please excuse me if I look kind of ratchet today. I just got off of work. Um, it's Thursday now, October 2nd. It's been kind of a long day, kind of a long week. So um, I sat down to do my September favorites yesterday afternoon and I was just in a bad mood. It, it just, it wasn't working. You know, my phone kept going off, my dog kept barking, things kept happening, it kept interrupting me. And I finished the video and I could just tell like I wasn't happy. It wasn't coming from a good place. Um, so I came back and I re-recorded it today. I think it's really obvious um, when you're not coming from a good place. I think it just seeps through in your videos and I think people can tell. Um, so while I'm kind of worn out today, I'm in a good mood. And I don't think it's fair to put um, content out there, you know, when you're not when you're not coming from a good place. Like, yeah, you're not always happy. Yeah, you're not always, you know. I mean, it's life. You have ups and downs, and it's okay to show that. But it's not okay to not be happy, to be in a bad place, and then come shoot a video and pretend that you are. It comes across as fake. And I, <laughs> that's the one thing I will not be is fake. So, September favorites. I want to get through them now and I have some really good items. I have some really unique items so I want to show you guys. Probably my very favorite of my favorites is my soft lips cube. How cool is that? So obviously kind of like you know getting on the EOS bandwagon. Um, the thing is I, EOS does nothing for my lips. Like I love the packaging. I love the design. It's really cool. I love the scent of them, but they don't keep my lips moisturized. Um, I still use them. Like there's still one in my purse, but um, random night at a CVS and I came across this in the medicine aisle and I was like, oh, I love soft lips. I always have. This has been my shit since like junior high. Um, so I had to get this. It's really cute. It looks like a little ice cube. Um, and it's that awesome soft lips formula. It hasn't changed. It's so soft. So silky. This one's minty. It's just, it's awesome. I love it. I highly recommend these. Awesome. And they're like $2.50, I think. So, badass. Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. Um, it's not a lipstick nor a gloss. It's like nothing you've ever tried before. I don't know, I'm super into it. Like, it's super folly and it gives great color, really pretty cherry red, um, and yet it's not too drying on the lip. And it's not too bold either. Like, it's still, um, it still goes on somewhat sheer. It's not quite that dark. So, it's great, you know, beginner color when you're getting used to wearing a red lip again, <laughs> since all you've been wearing is soft lips for the last six months. So, it's always nice to find a great, affordable, budget friendly brand. Speaking of budget-friendly brands, this is my first e.l.f. product, and it's the e.l.f. HD powder, the translucent powder. Um, it's obviously a dupe for the Makeup Forever HD powder. NYX also has the um, HD powder as well. I have not tried this one. This is the first one I've tried, and I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I don't know. I kind of made a mess with it. <laughs> Because it's hard to get out. Like, I try to tap it out into the lid, and then it just kind of, it's so finely milled, it just goes everywhere. Um, it's fine. This, you know, this powder is not something I need to be neat and clean with. It's something I can just, like, dust all over my face and be done with. Um, so, I'm really impressed with it. It does give a very flawless look to the face. It is my Lorac Draw the Line Pro Marker Tip Eyeliner Pen. So, so much. You shake it up, you can hear that ball sound. It goes on like a dream, like look. Oh, so gorgeous. So soft. Stays all day. Like I cannot scrub that off even when I want to. Um, let it dry for a second and look. Yeah, doesn't move. Doesn't budge. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I have a, I mean, my eyeliner just falls so much, and this does not. I love it. Plus, I have never been one that has an extremely steady hand, so this helps so much. It's, I mean, it's just so accurate. I can just lay the brush there and just draw it across, and it ends up perfect. I have never had such good cat eyes in my life. Also, what I love about it is that it's such a thin 
line like I've showed you before it's so thin and I have somewhat a uh, somewhat hooded eye I don't know if you can tell when I look straight ahead I see I don't have a lot of lid space see not a lot of lid space right there so if I do an extremely bold line it basically takes up my entire lid and all you can see is just black and then I have all this lid up here that's just bare I don't know what to do with um, so I've been experimenting around trying to create me a crease up here you know honestly just the natural looks look the best but um, if I just do a plain lid and then a nice thin cat eye it looks really nice especially with a red lip okay moving right along this candle oh my gosh this candle guys this candle guys oh my gosh this candle guys mm, it's the Febreze candle that changes colors it's so awesome so awesome I didn't get it lit because I've used so dang much of it there we go it changes colors how cool is that I just love it it's so interesting I can just watch it I can just watch it forever like a little light show it's so adorable and it smells amazing too and it's lasted decently long I've been burning it for about two weeks and it's about halfway gone so there you go okay two makeup bags Stephanie Johnson my mom gave them to me so I had been carrying a massive makeup bag every single day with just like all my basic makeup that I love to wear and it was just like weighing on me like I would have to dig through it could never find what I needed I had it filled to the brim and I would, wasn't using these products on an everyday basis so what I started doing was keeping my basic basics in here but then taking my little bag which I accidentally overfilled today on an everyday basis and just putting the makeup in that I need for that day and then I take this with me to work so uh, Sam Edelman shoes oh I love these so much I got them at Neiman Marcus at the outlet store the last call Neiman Marcus I am so in love with them as you can see Neiman Marcus price tag 149 oh that's the eight and a half 149 dollars I got 60% off, so it was less than 50, uh, excuse me, less than 60, and these things, oh my gosh, like, I'm sure they're last season, whatever, I don't care, like, oh, I love that Neiman Marcus outlet, I mean, it is just like, do you guys have those? It is like the designer, designer clothes, like, I have seen Chanel, I have seen Louboutin at this outlet for... 80% off of the original price. It is just amazing. Amazing. Like I, if I ever need a special dress, anything, I always go there. Always. It's right by my office too. Like ugh, just there tempting me every single day. Anyway, so I found these shoes and I just, uh, they're just perfect and they're perfect for fall. Chunky Lucite heel. How cute is that? Okay. And then just the studs. Oh my gosh. The studs and the rhinestones. And then the pretty pink nude strap. I mean, it's just, it's everything. It's fall. It's winter. I live in Texas, so I can actually wear sandals for winter. Um, it's spring. They're not really summery, but I could get away with it. I mean, but they're, they are, they're perfect for fall. This, this is a wonderful fall shoe. I mean, they're girly, they're street, they're rocker, they're punk, they're classic, they're everything. They're just, they're, they're everything. And I love them so much. My favorite TV show has just came back on. Well, not my favorite, fa like my all-time favorite TV show is The Simpsons. And that will always be on, God please. Um, but... One of my next favorite TV shows has just came back on. They've just aired a couple of, of episodes, and it started in September. It's the third season of Gypsy Sisters. I love this show. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is... I'm not even going to call it my guilty pleasure. I'm not ashamed at all of watching that show. And I won't get into exactly why. But um, suffice it to say, I relate well to the Gypsy Sisters. Hmm. Oh, wow. I wonder why. Hmm. 
I don't know. Must stay tuned to find out. Um, so I love that show. Highly recommend it. I mean, it's not it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not. Um, the girls the girls are great, and like if you if you truly understand the culture, then you would understand like how important this show is for the gypsy culture. So favorite movie just came out. It's called One Generation Away. Okay, how cool is that? It's a documentary. It's a polit it's not a documentary. It's a political docu drama, and it is not like boring political either. Like, I mean, I'm I'm into politics, but do I want to see debates and shit? Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I'm an '80s kid, an MTV generation kid. I need stimulation. So it's really, really well done, um, and they keep it interesting. I may or may not actually be in the film credits of this film so um you'll just have to look and see see if you see my name so it's um it's a faith-based movie i'm going to go ahead and tell you that um but it, it presents both sides of the story of the battle for religious freedom for christians for muslims for jews for hindus for buddhists for any religion out there it raises questions of like what what's our religious freedom in 2014 and moving on in the future like you know we we're facing some serious issues where people are not able to express their religion and demonstrate their religion in the public arena um so it does a really great great you know it emphasizes both sides of the story you know, there's the religious person's point of view, and then there's also interviews from people like the ACLU um, and the Freedom From Religion Foundation, so I highly recommend watching this video. My favorite Bible verse for the month, and uh, this is from my YouVersion app. Um, YouVersion is an app created by the church that I attend. It's, um, I don't know if I want to shout out my church, it's LifeChurch.tv. They just opened a new, not just opened, but I don't know, six months a year, opened a new campus in my area, so I've been attending. Um, I've been going there for about three months, and I'm, I'm really into it. Like, I like their teachings, their... Um, very modern church, laid back, relaxed, not the hypocritical, judgmental, you know, all the bad things that Christians get stereotyped for, which I personally try to live down every day of my life. So um, this one's just really resonating with me right now because I've been dealing I've been dealing with some stuff at work. Like my personal life has been going really well and I love my job, I do, but um, you know, there's been issues. So this one has just, it's just spoke to me, and this is Romans 12, 12, and it is rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. You know, have hope, and not just have hope, but have happiness from your hope. You know, let your hope lead your life. Let it, let your hope give you joy and rejoice in it. Um, be patient in your troubles, in your trials, in your tribulations. God is working in your life. Things happen for a reason. Have patience. Have faith. Know that you're becoming the person you're supposed to be. I constantly pray small prayers throughout the day. I meditate in the morning and at night. Um, I mean, you just, prayer is so undervalued. You know, and, and whatever you decide to pray to, pray. Like, if you pray to your highest self, if you pray to the universe, whatever it is, like, everyone needs answers in this world. Um, and, and prayer is the direct way to get it. Prayer is the emergency telephone line to the divine, to the universe, to God. Um, and, and whenever you need them, they are there. That is my September favorites. Um, I hope I didn't get too philosophical <laughs> on you guys just then, um, but I wanted to share that with you. And remember to have patience. Like, just everything is temporary. Whatever your life is right now in this instant, your life is not going to be the same in one year, in five years, in ten years. Um, so you just have to remember that. And, and keep trying and keep praying and keep asking God to, you know, tell you your steps and tell you what to do and give you peace and give you happiness. So glad I deleted that video from yesterday and redid this because I am just in a different place today and and that makes me happy. So I guess that's all I have to say guys. I hope you liked my September favorites. Let me know what you think. Let me know um, your opinions on any of the products, especially the ones I didn't like. 
Um, let me know what you think of any of this stuff. Leave comments down below. I want to hear from you guys. And um, if you would like to subscribe, I subscribe. I leave out vowels. That's cool. I don't need them. Too cool for vowels. If you would like to subscribe, I would absolutely love that. I will give each and every subscriber a free hug. Um, yeah. I would love to have you subscribe. I'd love to have you stick around, watch some more videos. Let me see your favorites. Let me see your hauls. Let me see your thrifting. Um, let me see you. I would love to watch all your videos. So, uh, you can also find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram at Fort Worth Famous. And that means that everyone's famous in their hometown. Okay? You don't have to be a big deal in L.A. You don't have to be a big deal in New York. You can be a big deal in Fort Worth, Texas. And honestly, that's good enough for me, okay? All right, bye, guys. Can't wait to see you next time. Love you. Bye, y'all.